Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a nice smooth circle on your slip roller. You've seen in my videos and maybe some other people's that when you're slip rolling, you have a flap on the end of your piece of workpiece material. And that flap section is proportional to the distance from the center roller to the outer rollers. So I'll show you how we roll that with my roller. This is the adjustable position roller, and I have one sixteenth inch thick stainless steel sheet here. And I have this in the second closest position here. So put it on center, make sure it's straight, and then tighten your adjuster bolts so that this top roller is level. And you just look right through here and you'll see a, a light gap between them. And you just make sure that it's the same on both sides. And you take your ratchet, tighten it down, say one full turn. And then start rolling it back and forth. So you go until this piece of material is right on the center line of this roller. If you go too far, you'll know it'll pop out, and then you just loosen these each a little bit and put it back in. So this roller is capable of handling a lot more than this. So I'm gonna go more than one full turn. That's one and a half. And you'd learn as you go about how much to tighten it for different thicknesses of sheet. If you go too much, then you're going to have too much bend in this part, and uh, it'll be a larger radius in a different part. So I'm going to say three quarters of a turn on this one, and we'll see how close that gets. Nope, that didn't put very much bend into it. There, so I overdid it just a little bit, and it's going to be difficult to get. Uh, this is okay because it's thin sheet and you can unflex it a little bit. But if you have thicker sheet and you bend it too much, then this one uh, prohibits you from rolling all the way to the edge of your lower piece. So I'm just going to pull it out a little bit with my hand as it rolls through. So now you can see that we've got a flat section of more than an inch on each one. And so I'm going to cut that off. Make sure you wear your safety gear. There's about a million people on YouTube who do dangerous things, especially like welding, but this is just cutting without having their proper safety equipment on. So you want to roll these as close to each other as you can so that you get um, almost all of your workpiece with the same radius. And then you're just going to, oh, don't forget the last step of cleaning out 
uh, a roller because when you get uh, chips and burrs and dust and all of that, it can get smashed into your workpiece and make a mess. So now you want to roll it just a little bit more to make it to be uh, so that those edges match up. So I'm just going to do a quarter turn and see where that takes us. So as you're rolling to your final diameter, you want to be aware of how these two edges are matching up. This upper roller is putting pressure on this, which is forcing these edges closer than they will be when you take it out. When you take it out, you'll release the pressure on your compression bolts and you get a little bit of a spring back. So depending on the material that you're using and the final diameter that you're trying to achieve, you might have to over roll it a little bit so that the edges uh, are overlapping a little bit. So with a much stronger material, you're gonna to need to take out this end bolt for the upper roller and then relieve pressure on your compression bolts. And then this whole roller will come up and you can take this piece out. With smaller pieces, um, thinner material, or for larger diameters, you could probably just flex it out. And that's what I'm gonna do now. And then you've rolled your full circle and you can just apply some slight pressure and weld that seam for whatever you're making.